Because the Wapakoneta Redskins have been so good at the Bluffton District, three straight district titles in four in the last five years, it's almost as if Jason Brandt's team has three homes. Wapakoneta, the Beavers Memorial Field, and Tiffins Heiminger Field, the site of the regional tournament. Chase Culver provided both wins on the hill and the game-winning RBI in both district wins as the Redskins meet Bryan in the regional semifinals this afternoon. Golden Bears held off a late defiance rally to win the Archbold District. You can see this game tonight at 11 on WOSN. For now, the highlights and a picture-perfect day at Tiffin. Pick up the action, top of the first. Jordan Bostetter, fly ball into shallow center field. Cody Morgan has to go all the way into shallow right field to make the diving catch to end the first inning. Go to the second now, Redskins. Chase Culver at the dish. And the future Northern Kentucky Norseman with Northern Kentucky at, in attendance delivers the base hit sharply struck into left field. First base of the game for the Redskins. Culver would later be picked off as Bailey Martin would face the minimum through three innings over the top of the third. Brian with the bases loaded. Bostetter. Fly ball to the left field. Adam Henderson makes the catch, slips. Thomas Martin tags up, scores from third. The 42nd run driven in by Bostetter this season. Brian up 1-0. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Wapkineta with two on. Chase Culver on the on-deck circle because Chandler Keck lays down the bunt. <laughs> Bad throw, and that allows Quinn Lotridge to score from a second. And we are tied at one as Chandler Keck saw the third base was playing back, laid down the perfect bunt. However, Wapkineta would lead the bases loaded in the end. Go to the seventh inning. Still a 1-1 game. Brian threatening. Two runners on. No outs. Austin Martin at the plate. Through the drawn in infield. And that's going to bring in two runs as Brian would go on to win 3-1 the final. Chase Culver pitched into the seventh inning. But the Wapakoneta offense just couldn't get anything going against Bailey Martin. Martin only allows three hits, the one run coming in the fourth, as Brian will move on to take on Sandusky Perkins, who defeated LaGrange Keystone.